There's a lot of businesses that are closing down as of midnight, and there's a lot of other uh, services that are being impacted as we head into more extreme measures. Elective medical procedures is one of them. Doctor appointments are now on hold right across the country. Many fertility clinics are also changing treatment plans for patients. And for more on this, Dr. Prati Sharma is joining us. She's with Create Fertility Center, uh, and she's coming to us remotely from Toronto. Good to talk to you this morning. Morning, Anne-Marie. How are you? I'm good. I'm hoping to provide some answers for families who are in the position of needing to uh, use fertility clinics. How are they responding to COVID-19? Have treatments been cancelled? Yeah, so it's been a topic that we've been grappling with over the last few days as things have been changing rapidly. And first and foremost, I think all of us as fertility doctors feel um, that this is a very difficult and trying time for our patients. Many of these patients have been sort of gearing up to do their IVF cycle, you know, really put their all into this so we can understand fully and completely how it can be difficult to tell them that their treatments are on hold. But at the same time, we're obviously in a new and unprecedented time with this pandemic. And so globally, the recommendations from the Canadian Fertility and Andrology Society, the European societies and the American societies are saying that while we can continue taking care of our current patients, including our pregnant patients and those that are in cycle, so patients who are currently doing an IVF cycle are not being canceled, they can complete their treatment, we are not initi initiating any new cycles. So no new IVF cycles, no new frozen embryo transfers, um, no new diagnostic testing or IUI cycles, but patients st can still get in for a telemedicine consult. So you can always speak to your doctor about future plans and really get ready for hopefully in one to two months when we can go back and ramp up and start cycles again. Um, it is unfortunate that we cannot start new cycles, but I think this is in the spirit of social distancing, protecting our patients. And truly, the other issue is that although the current data shows that COVID is not like the Zika virus and is probably okay if you're pregnant, we don't have enough data um, current medications for treatment of COVID are not able to be used for pregnant women. Pregnant women are considered high risk if they do contract the virus. So our goal is the health and safety of our patients. And for that reason, we're completing all the cycles that exist, but we're not starting any new treatment right now. Dr. Like Shama, I said, our, what ahead. are the recommendations for high risk patients? Yeah, for those patients who are considered high risk, so let's say you're pregnant and you have comorbidities like high blood pressure or diabetes or respiratory issues like asthma, the recommendation is that in addition to practicing um, good social distancing, good hand washing, um, that you should just be extra cautious. Stay inside as much as you can. Um, really only go outside for your necessary medical appointments. The obstetricians and midwives are still seeing their pregnant patients as needed, but try to minimize uh, contact and try to practice good social distancing and um, good hand washing techniques to avoid contracting the virus. Dr. Sharma, you've provided some great answers to a lot of the questions we've had into our newsroom. Thanks so much. No problem. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.